Hey guys and welcome back to another video. It's, I'm a little bit late on this this time, but today I'm going to be showing you how to update your rooted Nexus 6P from any version of Android pretty much to the latest N4F 26J build of Android 7.1.1. Funny naming scheme they have now, but uh, this video will be a little bit different because I'll be covering, I guess, how to update it from different kind of settings, if you will. So I've talked about flashing the pixel mod and I've even showed how to install Magisk and of course I have the traditional routing methods or method using SuperSU. So I'll be showing you how to update it, your root and nexus with all these three or with any of these three I guess in a combination. Most likely Magisk on its own or SuperSU and Pixel Mod or just SuperSU. And so yeah, hopefully this will be quite easy to follow. Uh, if not, uh, ask away in the comments. So first off, we're going to have a kind of a base device here. So I'm going to assume that you're rooted or you have the pixel mod or you have both or you just have Magisk or you can have probably have Magisk and the pixel mod or whatever combination you have. So just remember what kind of combination you have out of whatever you've flashed sort of thing. So for example, if you are rooted using SuperSU and you have flashed the pixel mod, then you're obviously going to need the latest version of SuperSU downloaded and the latest version of Pixel Mod for the N4F26J build of Android. Now, if you're using Magisk, you'll need to download the latest Magisk installer, the zip file, and flash that. I'll go over that uh, when I well when we get up to that part. But firstly, we're going to go over uh, the downloads and what we need to download. So, heading over to our computer here, I'll be using Fastboot for this since it's a little bit more detailed this video and of course you can have a look at how to set up fastboot and ADB pretty much the Android tools environment for you to use on your computer running any of the three major operating systems I have a playlist of that down below in the more info just select the one that's right for your operating system and follow that one and once you do that you should be golden to be able to follow these uh, this video so first off we're going to need to download the factory image for our Nexus 6P, we can go over on the right hand side and click on Angular or just scroll down and find this large table. So what we're going to do is download the latest one, funny they released two in pretty much one day, but download the latest one here, obviously it's the N4F26J, click on this link and it'll download a zip, a nice big zip file. And now this is our part where we can split off into three branches pretty much. So first off, if you're just rooted normally following my videos, uh, or any video really, or any guide, and you flash SuperSU, of course you can check this by going on a device, but hopefully you know what you did. It's very important that you do this, or start to kind of realize that you should know what you flashed on your device. Uh, so yeah, you're either rooted with SuperSU or not, or you have the pixel mod installed or not, and you should know if you've done either of these pretty much, or well, hope so at least. Uh, so right now you gotta, well I'll be showing you. So if you have been rooted with SuperSU, you can download the latest version of SuperSU available here on the download.chainfire.eu site and if you want to keep your pixel mod after it you're going to want to download the updated full pixel mod zip file here uh, same link as the one in the other video so in fact you could just follow the normal update procedure and just flash this afterwards it's usually how it's done anyway um, so that is with SuperSU or the pixel mod and also if you plan on moving to Magisk or something like that uh, you can definitely flash back oh sorry do this and just choose to flash Magisk in the end uh, will be I guess a great time to change if you haven't already but I uh, won't be pushing anyone there so yeah you'll need either the SuperSU uh, or the Pixel Mod Zip if you have it currently on your device and you want it uh, just because you're updating doesn't mean you have to keep the Pixel Mod you don't have to I guess yeah every time we have an update it's good to start fresh I guess. And lastly, if you're rooted using Magisk, they recently updated this so you're going to want to download 10.2 or whatever latest version there is available of Magisk. You want to make sure you have that zip file uh, downloaded. So again it's just down here, the latest Magisk installer. Or you can scroll down to the attachments and download the latest one here. Now this also includes a new updated Magisk Manager app available on the Google Play Store now. So you can directly update that through the Play Store on your device, so you don't need to worry about that. 
Okay, so uh, once we have everything downloaded according to what you need, sorry if this has become too wordy and you've lost your way through this, but uh, basically I've split it off into two, fo three folders. Uh, sorry, pretty much four. The factory image is a must. You will have to download this no matter if you're running Magisk or the Pixel Mod or, or rooted with SuperSU, it doesn't matter. Now, SuperSU is for those who are rooted with SuperSU. You'll need to download the latest version of SuperSU as shown here. And I'll make that bigger. Uh, yes, so the latest version of SuperSU. Otherwise, uh, you want to also download the Pixel Mod if you have the Pixel Mod on your device already and you want to continue using that. Uh, if not, you don't have to flash it, of course. And Magisk, only if you are using Magisk or plan on moving to Magisk after the after we flash the factory images using Fastboot. Uh, so that is about it. Um, so with that in mind, all you need to do now is we'll start extracting the required files we need for the, the process to start. So we'll open up the factory image here using our favorite unarchiver. In this case, I'm using WinRAR. We're gonna open the Angular folder inside and then you'll see our bootloader and radio. Now I'm gonna extract these. I'm not sure if they need updating but I'll let you know soon after if we don't need those. And then once you've extracted the bootloader image and the radio image outside just like that, we want to open up this image zip uh, file here. Wait for it to extract it to a temporary directory and open it up. And this is where we're going to extract most of our files here. I guess it's also good to check if uh, you'll need if TWRP has been updated. So then you can download that and flash it as well. But I assume 3.0.2-2 is still the latest version. Anyway, we'll need to extract the boot image, the uh, not the recovery image, the system image, and the vendor image. The big three, in fact, if you will. And we'll need to extract those three. Now, I guess we can do some multitasking because that wouldn't hurt too much, would it? We're going to plug our device into our computer where we're going to copy the necessary files for whatever setup you're going to have. So this part, I guess, will be a little bit confusing for some people, especially those who are new to this, and I guess, rooting and flashing business. But hopefully I can make it as easy as possible for you to follow along with some helpful graphics and whatnot. So of course, we want to plug in our device and make sure it is USB connected for transferring files. Now, if your uh, device doesn't pop up immediately on Windows, just open up a new Explorer window and go to this PC and just navigate to your device and open it up. You can see I have an older version of SuperSU lying around. Uh, I won't be using that, so here is what you need to do. I'm going to clean up this so we don't get too confused with everything. But right now, uh, we have these three folders here. I just can highlight them. Now this is dependent on whatever setup you have right now. So you'll need to ask yourself this very important question. Uh, how did I root? What if I flash the pixel mod or any other mods that I want to continue using or if I have used Magisk. So in the case of one uh, commenter that asked this question, he had the pixel mod, I assume it was rooted with SuperSU and so all you need to do is download the latest pixel mod, which we did in this folder and we want to make sure that's available on our device. So for those uh, that are rooted using SuperSU and have installed the pixel mod, you want to copy SuperSU zip, the latest SuperSU zip file here uh, onto your device, as well as the latest pixel mod onto your device and flash it. Otherwise, you want to, if you're using Magisk, for example, you want to download the latest version of the Magisk zip and copy that to your device. So in my case, I'm using Magisk, so I will need to copy over the Magisk zip file over to my device to flash it. Otherwise, for example, you're just rooted, you'll need to copy over the SuperSU uh, file. Otherwise, or and or, if you are running the pixel mod, you'll want to copy the pixel mod to your device as well. So usually, uh, like I've said before, only the SuperSU and pixel mod kind of really goes together because Magis, you can use one of their modules to do it for you. But uh, in the case of other people that are just running the pixel mod like so, you'll need to copy over the latest version. Do not flash the old version onto the new version unless you want to, I guess, do some more flashing to fix it up. Now, it doesn't really take long, but just don't do it in the first place. So 
Once we have the required files on our phone, of course this is user dependent. I can't stress this out enough, just don't follow this, what I'm doing. Uh, just copy the over the files that you need and hopefully I've explained that I guess well enough. So next up with the general flashing part of course we can clean up some of our windows here. We don't need as much or many things here. Now we're going to have to reboot back into the bootloader. So what we're going to do is unplug our device. It's just easier to handle the rebooting sequence. And I'm going to power off the device here. I'm going to reboot it into the bootloader as usual to of course flash these images. In the meantime, while that thing's powering off, I'm going to get my fast boot up and running ready. Now this is really different from, oh this could be different from yours, but if you followed one of my videos on getting, getting this set up, uh, then you'll know exactly or you should know how to get fast boot running anyways. So now that our device is off, I'm going to hold the power button and volume down buttons at the same time and until we get to the bootloader and I'll release them like that and plug in our device using the USB cable. Now, once that is plugged in, of course, we can do a quick fast boot devices check to see that our device is plugged into our PC uh, correctly or computer. So I'm going to type in fast boot flat, oops, sorry, devices. Uh, so now our serial number has popped up, connected on fast boot as seen there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to scroll down here just so we can see the images uh, really easily. First up, we're going to flash the new boot image. So type in fast boot, flash boot, leave a space on the end after boot, and then drag in the boot image and hit enter. Now next up, we're going to flash, oh sorry, I even forgot to check for the bootloader or radio needed updating. I'm just going to have a quick look, bootloader is 0.62 and 7.9 for the radio. So I do apologize, we do need to update the bootloader and radio as well. I guess there's no harm done here, we've just only flashed the boot image. So we're going to type in, we're going to flash the bootloader now. So we're going to type in fast boot, flash bootloader, leave a space on the end of a bootloader and drag in our bootloader image. It's just that the fast, uh, sorry, the boot image wasn't first on the list. Now we want to reboot back into the bootloader, so we're going to type in fastboot with O's, fastboot reboot dash bootloader, and reboot our device back into the bootloader, you should see that very soon. And now we're going to flash the radio, so I'm going to type in fastboot flash radio, leave a space in the end, and hit enter, oh sorry, drag in our image and hit enter. Now done, and now I'm going to, since we already flashed the boot image, if you haven't, and now I'm going to flash the system image, so I'm going to type in fastboot flash system, um, leave a space on the end, and drag in the system image. Now this will take roughly one to two minutes, as the system image keeps on getting bigger pretty much. So we'll wait for the system image to finish flashing, and then we'll continue with the rest, and then goes our or what will come up is our, I guess, fork in the road once again. Where you'll have to flash whatever it is you need to flash. In the case of SuperSU, the full pixel mod or Magisk. Now I'm going to fast forward this until this finishes flashing. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so we finished flashing the system image. So up next we're going to flash the vendor image. I'm going to type in fastboot flash vendor, leave a space on the end and drag in the vendor image. Now this will be the last one and after this we're going to reboot into the recovery which has been replaced by TWRP hopefully. And so once that is done we're going to go to our device, hit the down volume down arrow twice until we get to recovery mode, hit the power button to select that and on we boot into TWRP. Now once it goes into TWRP, um, you'll just flash whatever zips that you decided to copy on earlier in this video when I was talking about if you were rooted just normally with SuperSU or if you flashed the pixel mod or you chose to flash Magisk. We're going to have to decrypt our data partition of course. And I guess if you're still unsure, just think back to what you did. You can even look for hints on your device and essentially follow the same things through here. because. 
we've just flashed the stock like the factory images right so obviously we're going to need to reintroduce any modifications that we did in the first place uh, pretty much right after you unlock the bootloader and flash TWRP uh, so yeah now we're in TWRP we're going to flash the I guess the selected mods that we needed to so in this case I need Magisk because uh, since my last video of showing you how to install Magisk I haven't changed it but if you haven't uh, moved over to Magisk and you're still using SuperSU of course you want to flash SuperSU first and then optional optionally if you had the full pixel mod and you want to uh, I guess keep the pixel mod as is you want to flash the full pixel mod zip after the rooting uh, I guess it doesn't really matter but you might as well and this is a or you are running the pixel mod uh, sorry the magisk or running magisk and all you need to do is flash the magisk zip now hopefully that that still makes sense so in my case again I'm using magisk so I'm just going to flash the magisk zip I wasn't using the pixel mod I do not want to uh, do it this way at least so you'll need to flash whatever it is that you did when you either rooted your device or even when you flash the pixel mod so once you have flashed all the necessary zips that you needed to I'm going to reboot the system and hopefully everything will remain intact for you uh, that is that's if you rooted with SuperSU or you had the pixel mod or you used Magisk and hopefully all that will remain intact uh, especially Magisk I guess it's a little bit tricky to, for some people to uh, for some, some devices to just w uh, work out its Magisk hide so hopefully our device boots boots up fine whatever mods you have installed SuperSU, pixel mod or Magisk so this process is roughly repeatable I mean once you get the hang of it, once you kind of understand what you're trying to do, uh, this this is much easier. So I'm going to wait for our devices to turn on all the way up, and we shall see if Magisk is still there. And on your side, you'll have to see whatever it is that you had before flashing the factory images is still there after flashing the zips required in TWRP, of course, of your own selection. I want to make that very clear. Okay, our device has just finished booting up and it looks like we are a okay all our data has retained of course as usual and we shall now see if uh, Magisk still works well, let's have a look at Peter Bleicher's super user that's still working fine it looks like I'm going to look at Magisk now down here and we can see well yeah everything still works so now, uh, for example, you had just SuperSU, you'll want to check that the SuperSU app opens up fine without telling you to update the binaries, or it might up tell you to update on some occasions, but have a look at one of your rooted apps, such as Titanium Backup or whichever one that requires root access, and make sure it can open up well and say that root access is acquired at least. So, and also if you have the pixel mode and you flash that in recovery just then in TWRP, then well it should be obvious to you by now if you have the pixel mode flashed or not so hopefully this works out for all of you it's my first time kind of deviating from the general scheme of things where I just flash SuperSU and be done with it since I've moved over to Magisk but I guess this could change at any time so hopefully this video helps you understand a little bit more about what to do after flashing the factory images so I guess you can just follow along every time you might not even have to follow my videos anymore but um, hopefully this will get you somewhere closer off your feet so you can get deep and dive into the world of Android fully. So thank you very much guys for watching. Uh, we'll have, I do have some videos kind of planned for the future, not really. Uh, everything's uh, kind of like easy come, easy go. So hopefully I'll be able to do more things that you guys requested. Things like reviews I guess are a little hard for me. I don't really know what to say most of the time. I can say it's great or not great. So yeah, I guess keep an eye out for those and I still have a couple of very overdue videos as I guess a lot of you probably know such as the what's on my phone and I think there's another one that I haven't done in a while and that I really should so hopefully with the remainder of my holidays I should be able to get some more of those popped out and yeah so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.